What's up, modern fans? Brian to Cook, and I have some bad news for you. Today, we are not playing Lotus Breach. I know, I know, I'm sorry, you just love it so much. But instead, we're playing a deck that I've never played before in Modern, which is Modern Belcher. And unlike in Legacy Belcher, you get a stack your deck Doomsday-esque win with Modern Belcher. The idea is that you cast recross the paths until you reveal a land card. Well, due to the multi-facing cards, we don't have any lands in our deck, which means that you just get to stack your deck with this card, and you put Reforge the Soul on top of your deck, draw it, and then cast it for its miracle mechanic. Which, you know, if it's the first card drawn, you get to pay it for its miracle cost, which is two mana, you draw seven. So you can stack it so that way you draw an untapped red source, Pact of the Titan, Infernal Plunge, a Ritual, an Iron Craig Feet, and a Goblin Char Belcher and win the game. That's the idea with that pile. Uh, so you can win as early as turn three with this deck. Uh, I guess you could technically win with turn two with a Nut Draw that is four mana into Iron Craig Feet with Belcher in hand. That's also possible. Uh, but that's the deck. You have Blood Moon in there to disrupt your opponents a little bit as well. This deck's fairly powerful. I faced it a few times in leagues and I'm just looking to belch people today, so hope that you're ready to, you know, activate this Goblin Char Belcher. No Empty the Warren shenanigans here. All we do is belch, belch, belch. That's my intro. Hope you liked it. Uh, but before we hop into the games, friendly reminder, please like, comment, subscribe. Support this channel. It would mean a lot to me if you did those things. Um, get us into the YouTube algorithm, all that good stuff. Check out our membership info which is in the join button next to the subscribe button. I get this question all the time. Brian, I want a cyborg guide for Lotus Breach. Where can I get it? You need to join the middle tier for this channel. That's the only way I'm going to give it to you. So while I appreciate the comments in the comment section asking for it and people joining the Discord, which is completely free to do, you have to join the middle tier. So if you want a cyborg guide, please join that. It is one of the perks of that middle tier. But speaking of being a member in our Discord, we do have a hidden special member section of our Discord where if you're a member, you can sync your account and get access to that. So definitely check out all of that great information in there. Uh, and then after that, we have the epicsfirm.com slash donation decks where you can submit your combo deck like Modern Belcher to be featured here on this very channel. We also have the epicsfirm.com slash shop where you can get card singles as well as sweet, sweet store merchandise, including our brand new mini token pack for keeping track of your mana and storm definitely go check that out in the shop all right no more shilling i promise let's hop into round number one i'll see you there all right it's round number one we're on the play and we will not be revealing a companion that is not what this deck does instead we're just looking to belch 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 i would love to get a turn two in this league so hopefully that happens okay we have iron craig feet Bunch of lands recross the paths. I mean, I think that this is just a keep. This feat's pretty dead, but we have recrossed the paths in three lands. So I can use Metamorphose to make red mana. So this is likely like a turn four kill. Blooded Foothill is okay. Blood Crypt. If we get Thought Seized here for a recross the paths, that kind of stinks. All right, Ragavan, Blood Moon. All right, I don't think I'm supposed to cast Blood Moon. Not that I can right here anyway, but just in general, because I need to recross and then untap and reforge. Oh, now my Shatter, Shatter Skull smashing. I wonder if they'll target their own Ragavan here. Not very likely. All right, so Jund opponent, what do you have? They have Thoughtseize. So we're probably losing our recross of the paths here. And if that is the case, I'm going to slam this Blood Moon. Okay, and they took the recross of the paths, so that means I'm probably casting this Moon. Traverse, so they can go get a basic. Swamp. Okay. Draw. Um, we're going to have to bolt ourselves here. Okay, Morphos. Gotta make red mana. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Why, duck? Okay, I, I'm gonna have to burn this mana, Morphos, now. I didn't want to have to do this. 
Oh, clicking too fast. It's fine. All right, let's just draw Belcher off the top rope and Belch our opponent for lethal. So Rags is going to hit us down to 13. Infernal Plunge, maybe they'll sacrifice the Ragavan here. Okay, so they got to see our top card with Bobble. We know that they have a Swamp in hand. They played their Swamp. Are you plunging? Do it. All right, Lurus the hand. So they're going to draw a card off Bobble. Belcher. Hmm. I can cast Reforge here. I think that's probably the play. So we're going to have one mana floating or one mana extra. So I, I shouldn't cast Iron Crag because it doesn't matter, I guess, is the reason why. But I can't win the game this turn. So it doesn't really matter if I cast the feet or not. Okay. Um, I think we just pass here. I don't love this Pact of the Titan in my hand. We also uh, have used both, or we drew the second Reforge, which means that this recross the paths isn't as good anymore. So Ragavan getting in. Hazard, okay. You might be thinking, Bryant, you could have packed that Thought Seize. Theoretically, I could, and I could also lose the game. Ooh, they took... Oh, packed a negation for the Needle. Uh, I mean, they drew their one of Needle. Our deck can't beat that. So I'm just supposed to concede here. Um, Yeah. They got me. This deck really doesn't have a main deck out to Needle. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in our main deck that beats that Pithing Needle. That's a bummer. It's just good deck building, you know. All that stuff. Um, yeah, and I can't help but wonder, like, I'm not the designer of this deck, so take this with a grain of salt, but why are we running uh, Nature's Claim and not running any copies of Force of Vigor? Force of Vigor just seems like a, the type of card that this deck would want. Maybe I'm wrong. But we definitely want some Veil of Summers. We want these claims, or at least some number of claim. I wonder if you're supposed to board in Leyline versus these decks. I really don't know. I think we can probably get rid of like the plunge packs. Like that stuff. It's a little cute. Uh, maybe we cut the Blood Moons here. Or maybe I keep them versus the Saga decks. So that way they can't get Needle. I just don't know. Hmm. So we're seven cards over right now, which is a lot. Yikes. I wish I would have had a cyber guide for this deck. Part of me is thinking about Blood Moon if I'm going to be boarding in all these like anti discard spells. Hmm. I have a minute left to figure this out. Maybe you just don't board in Leyline. Let's try it out. I can always change it. All right. Um, is this a turn two? No. Unless we draw another ritual. If this was an untapped red source, this would have been a turn two. All right, so we're hoping for another pyrotic ritual off the top rope. Or a desperate ritual. So we have seven hits. White. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, and they have the Thought Seize. Brutal. I guess we could have boarded out uh, Striker Rich and had Ley Lines. Why do you take Strike It Rich? That's interesting. Um, so let's try to spike a ritual here. Nope. Uh, but we have a win next turn. So let's just pass. Maybe I'm reconsidering my Blood Moon stance after seeing this. Ooh. 
Then also shuts off the sh uh, the Shatter Skull smashing. I'm absolutely dumbfounded right now that this is happening. <laughs> oh jeez, not quite good enough, and I can't cast this due to the X part of Gaddic Teak. Um, yeah, I just have to pass the turn here. Does her deck? We don't. I guess my out is double spike field hazard. Yeah. Jeez. Come on. Give me another hazard. There's only two in the deck. Pass. I don't think it, if you gave me like a hundred guesses that I would have guessed that our opponent would have cast Gaddic Teak post board against us. All right. So Lurus here. You got it. Sure. All right, let's see if I can spike another hazard off the top here. Uh, I can't cast it for its miracle cost. Um, I'm just so far behind. Yep. It's getting wrecked. Now we take five. Even if I draw the other hazard, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, was I supposed to preemptively board in Fury here? Yeah, they got me. Okay, we're 0 and 1. Not the end of the world. Let's just get the next four. We are on the draw for the second match. And we've opened up uh, four lands here. We can turn to Blood Moon. Is that good enough? I don't know. Uh, but I kind of want to keep it. I don't know if you're supposed to mulligan to... Uh, what is it called? uh the green card um we cross the paths there we go i don't know if you're supposed to mulligan to it or keep like hands like this i guess we'll find out i'm gonna keep and see uh how badly we lose nail and divisions okay draw another land let's strike it rich is this gift storm? We saw this blood moon isn't very good. And another land. All I feel is regret right now. Might as well cast the blood moon. Well, it is not a uh, gift storm, but it is like a blue red phoenix style deck. Okay, so they're going to rebound faithless sh salvaging here. Morphos, that's spell number two. Scour, okay, that's spell three. Now they can use the last blue, or they can cast Consider here, and that's going to bring back the Demi Lich. Okay. Well, isn't that lovely? Oh, there's also another one in the graveyard? Jeez. I'm going to be dead very quickly here. Yikes. Another land. Um, we have to hope to spike paths here, I think. Or not paths, yeah, recross the paths. Another blood moon. The loss is probably on me for not um, mulliganing. I don't know. Am I supposed to board in Veil vale versus this deck? Probably not. I don't know how many counter spells this style of deck would actually have that said blood moon seemed pretty bad so i think it's probably fairly free to bring in veil of summer over blood moon um sure let's try this game two and we are on the play all right we have a recross and we have two lands three lands keep this hand can actually uh, set up a turn three win because you can go uh, Pyretic, Morphos, recross the pads on turn two. Okay, so let's just play a land here and pass. Oh, I didn't mean to bolt myself. Whoops. Whoops. I don't like that. Why didn't you cast any spells? 
All right, new game plan. I am just going to play this tap lane and pass. And then next turn, I can just cast Recross the normal way and not burn two cards in order to do so. Faithful Mending. That explains the White Splash. Okay, let's bolt ourselves again. I drew the Infernal Plunge, which honestly isn't the worst as long as that this Recross the Path resolves. Because we're going to set up a Plunge win. And hopefully I have enough cards where I can put a Pact Negation in my pile. Actually, that doesn't work. This gets discarded. So actually, all the cards in our hand are sort of irrelevant. This just did not matter. Okay, so that resolved. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a cool way that you could stack this. So I'm just trying to talk out loud here. Um. So reforge that's obviously the first card that needs to go but if we think our opponent has a counter spell i can keep these or in my upkeep with this on the draw or whatever i can go ritual morphos draw veil of summer and then i, I could counter their counter spell on reforge i guess is what i'm trying to say here maybe i include that in the pile and it doesn't really cost me anything because these would be discarded anyway so then we want an untapped land. So where's my untapped red source? Shatter Skull. All right, and then Ritual. Ritual, that's four mana. I think if I want to cast Belcher, I, I'm that turn I'm going to need the Iron Craig feet. Put Belcher in the pile, and then we can put Pact Negation here, but Pact doesn't do anything unless our opponent messes up and tries to counter an Iron Crag Feet, because once you cast Feet, you play Belcher, and then you can't cast this Pact Negation. Um, and then let's just stack some Belchers after that. All right, any order. Okay. Our opponent revealed Manamorphose. Okay, so it looks like they're probably going to be casting a Faithful Mending here. And it is a Faithful Mending. Okay, we're just going to have six through our opponent's turn. Arid Mesa. Morphos. Okay, so that's the first spell this turn. They're passing. So we're going to draw the Reforge. But before we do that, we're going to Ritual. I guess if they tried to counter that, they could get me. And now we can cast the Reforge, and if they try to counter it, we have Veil. That's annoying. So let's cast this. Now we take our Draw Step. Ritual. Ritual. Belch. One thing we can do is we can Pact and Negation our opponent and then Belch them uh, because we never get around to paying the upkeep cost. All right, Faithful Mending. I'm going to let that go. No need to pack that. Consider. And our opponent is conceded. Nice. I think I'm just going to resubmit here. We have two lands and recrods. Um, I think that this is a keep. I can also, if I hit a red source, just spike Belcher into play on turn two. We did see that they had at least two wear tears, which is a little bit concerning, though. A red source. Love it. All right, so we're looking to draw an Iron Craig Feet off the top. There's only three of them, so not super likely, but I want that turn to kill. Visions. Come on, Doc. Feet! All right, we're going to pay the three life here. Virtual. Virtual. Belch. 
All right. They hit the land. Do you have it? I mean, if you have wear tear, you, you, you don't have a choice. You just have to cast it. So it looks like they're digging for it here. I think that they... Oh, no, they have a land drop still. So they could go land, wear tear, bring back two phoenix. Okay, well, they, they missed. We will not. Ugh. Get belched. Bryant the Belcher. Look at the cards. Look at them. All right, we're 1-1. <laughs> this deck is certainly fun to play, even if I play it poorly. Match number three. Red source, green source. This hand seems fine to me. I mean, all of our lands are slow lands, which kind of stinks, but... It has the cards. Okay, so we're going to lead on the hazard here. To try to give them less information, maybe we could be a bad red deck with Spike Field Hazard in it. You never know. But uh, if we just play the turn one um, Song Madland, they're going to know the, the jig from the first turn. Okay, and they cycle the Street Wraith. Uh, what is this? Is this Dredge? It is dredge. Okay. And I think we just pass here. Chill. Okay. Well, that reunion is going to be pretty good. Yep. I could kill the amoeba. I just don't really see the point. I'd rather have a land. But I'm going to just, you know have it stick around um i probably could have killed that thing though okay so just trying to think here i can put belcher in a play and then next turn activate cast cast belcher play the land yeah so had I known I was going to spike a ritual, uh, and it might have even been the right play anyway to just shoot the ghoul and then untap and belch. But I have a feeling that they're unlikely to kill me here. All right, we take five. Glyphs, okay. Sure, let's take a draw. And belch, belch, belch. Look at the cards. Boom. Okay, so I don't think we need this pact. Wish we had Leyland of the Void. Jeez. That would be a sweet card here. Um, maybe I board in a Nature's Gleam just for, you know, to not lose. So like a random card. We can put it in our, like, Doomsday pile, too. I don't hate that. I don't know how good Blood Moon actually is in this matchup, so those could actually maybe get boarded out. Why don't we board in more claims and then like a couple Veil of Summer? Let's try this out.
I am so sorry. I made a blunder. I really, really am sorry. I paused the video or paused there. Technically, I muted the video, but I accidentally quit recording while sideboarding because I needed a quick break and I hit stop recording and then game number two happened. Honestly, it wasn't a super interesting game, so you didn't really miss out on much. Our opponent played turn zero a line into Thoughtseize, discarding our Ironcrag feet. And then I slowly built up to Belcher and then drew recrossed the paths to put a Nature's Claim on top of my deck. And then Clash showing my opponent the Nature's Claim and they conceded. That, that was the entire game. You didn't miss much. I am so, so sorry. But on the bright side, you get to go to match number four a little bit quicker. My apologies once again. That's the last time I'll say it. Match number four coming right up. Okay, we've opened up a hand with Belcher in it, but I think that this is probably supposed to be a mulligan. I'm not quite sure. I guess we do have three mana Belcher plus Pact. Mm. All right, I talked myself into keeping it. I don't know why, but I did. Crashing Footfall, so they're on Rug. Ooh. Okay. So this is a Force of Negation deck. I guess we just have to hope that they don't have it. Okay, strike it rich. Pass the turn. If they have a uh, Brazen Borrower, they can bounce my treasure here. Next turn, I can belch for lethal, but if they have the Force Indication, I just have Egg on my face. Um, let's cast the Ritual, I guess. Play Belcher. I don't know if it's better to sacrifice the the treasure token or the desperate ritual. And I'm gonna pack this. And then upkeep ritual belcher the pack trigger on the stack. If they have brazen bar, I'm just dead. Okay. Alright, ritual. Belch you! <laughs> ah, get belched. Skill magic right there. So I did make a meaningful decision this game, and it was to not play the Iron Craig feat, which I know seems silly, but like you're not allowed to pack with this, so it's a little bit of a nombo. It's not a huge decision, but it's something. Um, so I think we probably want to bring in Veil of Summer. And I can't help but wonder if I take out this, like, cute pack package. Like, I don't know how good this actually is. It does allow some fast wins, but I don't know if we need them here. And, like, would pack number two be better? I just don't know. I guess I could do this and side out one feet. That's probably slightly better. Let's do this. What does this hand do? It's tough to look at because, like... You're not quite sure what any, any of your cards initially do when you open them because they're all just double face cards. So we have four lands in Reforge. One of Mulligan. I think I'm actually going to keep this. And it's a little bit sketchy, but I like the idea that we have Veil of Summer for a Force Negation. Like our opponent just Mulligan down to five cards. They're probably mulling for Force. Let's just play it slow drawn to a spell that's meaningful and then get them dead okay this actually is pretty good uh we're, we might end up casting that okay i like the feet let's draw belcher looks like they might have agent here it's going to turn on the stack probably getting a red source if i had a guess I guess wrong. Are you a blood mooning me? No? Okay. So 10 power into play. We're going to have to move quickly now. Draw. Not a belcher. Um, so I'm going to on their end step cast Valakut Awakening. And I'm not quite sure what the plan is with it yet. I, I think I can put back one of these lands and maybe the reforge. But I think I might need to keep the Pyretic. I don't love the idea, but I might need to keep it because 
I want to be able to ritual into Iron Craig while having Veil vale back up. So I, I'm going to cast this. I, I'm at least getting rid of the Hazard and the Reforge. I know that much. But do I get rid of the Pyretic? I don't think I'm allowed to. Part of me also wonders if I'm supposed to get rid of this. And just accept that I'm probably going to draw another untapped land. For a ritual. I think that makes sense. So this is going to be a draw four. Hey. Alright, so we can beat one copy of Force Negation here. Oh, let's cast Pyrotic. Alright. Desperate Ritual. Desperate Ritual. Manamorphose. Let's see if we can draw another green uh, Veil of Summer. That was actually a really good draw, because now if they Counterspell our Veil, we can pack their Counterspell and kill them. I think we got you. It can be force, force a blue card, and we have this. Veil Summer has resolved. And Belcher. Boom! Get Belched! <laughs> uh, this deck is fun, and uh, it's a lot easier to play than I expected coming into this. I know there's still one more round left to go, but I thought this deck was going to be a lot more difficult to play with like the Recross the Paths, Doomsday style stuff, and it's honestly pretty easy. I think the toughest thing about this deck so far is Mulligan Decisions, if I'm being completely honest, and maybe Cyborging. Mulligan Decisions and Cyborging. Like, this is a deck that, with a Cyborg Guide, would be incredibly easy to play, but let's just go to match number five and um, see if I can piece together another win. Okay, on the play for the fifth and final match. Turn two. Give me a turn two. That's what I want out of this league. Okay, so if I spike a Belcher off the top, I would have to believe if there's a Belcher on top of our deck, this is a turn two kill. Or if this Infernal Plunge was a Belcher, I'd probably be running around the circle, in a circle in this room right now, but... I don't think I'm allowed to keep this hand. It hurts. Uh, so this is two lands, Belcher... This could do it if I ripped another Ritual off the top on turn two. So let's go for it. We also have a two, we have three draws. We have first draw step, second draw step, Morphos to hit it. All right, I want to turn two. Come on, Doc. Our opponent reveal the companion. Luris, okay. So they're on Jund. No, it might just be Black Red. Jund wouldn't play Tarn. Come on, deck. Please give me a ritual. Please give me that ritual. All right. I don't have time for your bobble shenanigans, Leyline of the boys. Come on. I'm trying to draw a ritual here. Draw. Okay. We're going to hope to spike here. Morphos. Red. Green. Come on, ritual. Not a ritual. An Iron Craig Fee, I don't care what you say, is not a ritual. Not in this circumstance. Uh, we do have a turn three, but we have to go through unscathed. It could also just be uh, like the Jerry Thompson Grixis deck. It could be red black. Who knows? Scalding turn. All right, it is Grixis. We had a window last turn and we missed it by drawing Iron Craig Feet. Oh, they bolted themselves. They're in shadow. Ooh, they tapped out. Not a wise move. Not a wise move at all. All right, let's belch him dead. Belch, belch, belch. Belch. Belch, belch, belch. Belch, 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 belch. And that is how we do. But on the bright side, these briefly got up to negative 55 or 52, 52s. Those are very large death shadows. Or 52, 52s. They wouldn't be negative. Words are tough. Please forgive me. Um, Blood Moon seems fine here, except they're... 
like the Ragavan deck. I don't know if we leave that in. We definitely want these Veil of Summers. We could just like take out these and then like maybe one Blood Moon. Or we take out the Iron Craig feats, keep in both packs and the Blood Moon. I think I might like this more. Let's try this out. No turn two. I gave it up for the consistency. This seems fine. All right, Luris has been revealed. Let's go. Scalding Turn, Blood Crypt, and Ragavan. Yep. All right, we're going to play Belgad Recovery and pass. Old Rags to Riches. Morphos is a free draw spell for them. DRC, okay. Now they're going to Morphos. Why don't we have a turn two? A command. A little shocked that they milled that. Um, so I think our best draw here is probably just another ritual. How do they have mana for that? Oh, the Morphos. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so I think they're supposed to take the Pyretic Ritual here. But I can hope that they take Recross, and they did. I think the Ritual is honestly better. Come on, deck, please give me a Ritual. All right, so we just have to play a land here and pass. That would have been a great window if had we hit the Ritual. Like, they might have a K command in their hand, and there's nothing I can do about that. But if we could stick Belcher in play, I think there's a decent shot at us winning. They have four cards in hand. Iteration. Watery Grave. And now they're holding up Counter Magic. Veil's not awful. Hmm. Doesn't really matter which land I play, that is. So I could Ritual out Belcher here, but I can't protect it with Veils, so what's the point? All right, so we'll take three here, falling to 12. You can have an Amirius call. I don't mind that. With one more treasure, you could uh, cast it almost. Uh, I'm going to Veil that. Are you countering? It's very uh, brave to counter that. Ooh. Um, do I kill the channeler here? Instant sorcery land. I think I just take the Ragavan. Channeler is going to be a 3 3 now, but. Oh no, it exiles it. Oh, that's sweet. And there's a shadow. Okay. Am I supposed to shock myself and play around Stubborn Denial here? I'm just going to play it. I don't think that... I don't know. Okay. Play this. They might have another K command because they build this on turn 2 or turn 3. And if they do... Cool. All right, they're targeting themselves for the shadow. So if they fetch shock, this becomes seven. And then if they get delirium, that's ten. And they have the K command. That's going to wrap this game up. Yeah, I had a feeling that they had it. All right, maybe we do want the uh, the feats in. Yeah, let's just concede and go to game three. All right, I'm just going to take out the Blood Moons. Or maybe I'll leave in one. Is it better to do, like, the Infernal Plunge package? This package doesn't seem that good to me. I get it, because it allows you to win off one land, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do, like, one Bolt to slow them down. Yeah, let's try this. I don't care. Okay, game three, the final game of this league with Modern Belcher. 
Green source, red source, strike it rich. Sure. A little bit slow, but not bad. Wanna take some mulligan. And pass. Crypt into what? Always the monkey. Okay, draw. Land. Strike rich. Next turn we can cast Belcher. Or we can recross the paths. I don't actually want to cast recross the paths if I'm being honest. Um so part of the reason why is I boarded out the Infernal Plunge package. But when we have double recross, I think that's the card. They're not going to take recross the path. They're just going to take the Belcher. Or if they leave Belcher, they probably have a K command. Yeah, they, they, I mean, it makes sense. Okay, they're at 12. Very fast start for our opponent. Uh, do I want to cast this? Yes. Let's go. Um, I can kill <laughs> Death Shadow. Okay. And then Ritual Recross the Pads. Green, red. That's good. Uh, the reason why it's good is it allows me to spike field hazard the Ragavan after. Okay, so... We want to start on Reforge. That's the first card. And that was seven cards after this. Um, how do we want to do it? Ideally, I, I want to do it with Pack Back Up. So we need a land. That's number one. Belcher can be number two. And then two rituals. Three. Four. That's only four mana. And then. Five, six, seven. It leaves me one mana short. So maybe what I do is Veil of Summer. Iron Craig Feet. And then one last ritual. And after that, we can do like Belcher, Pact, Belcher, Pact, and then Random. They have an Inquisition on top. Spike Field Hazard, way too powerful. Actually, come to think of it, I don't know why I put a Veil in the pile. The Veil doesn't actually help me. Um... Yeah, because I, I don't have a Morphos in there. And then I have to tap the green source. A little bit awkward. Okay. Yes. Reforge. They have Drown and Lock. Uh, that's annoying. Yep. I just have to pass here. We know that they have Inquisition, and they can Inquisition the Recross, but that doesn't matter. My next uh, card is another red source, so what I can do next turn is I can play the land, play Striker Rich, and then the turn after I'm drawing Belcher, so Belcher Iron Crag. And they also have a Thought Seed, so they can hit both now. They might have me here. Okay... So I think I'm supposed to just pass. Like, there's no reason to play the Shatter Skull Smashing. Also, if they put Croxa into play next turn, I don't want to have to discard the Iron Greg feet. Okay, so we're falling to nine now. Come on, just tap out for Croxa. Going to six. Croxa, Croxa, Croxa. Croxa. Come on, don't you want to cast a Croxa? Alright. Beat. And they have another Drown. Okay. So, 
not too bad. Uh, three two is fine. Like I'm happy with doing that with this deck. I've never played it before, so it seems fine. Um, I don't really have too much constructive criticism on the deck if I'm being honest. Like it seems fine. I do wonder if maybe Force of Vigor is a card it wants to play. We do have a high number of green cards in our deck, and it's better than paying mana for things like Nature's Claim. You could probably do a split of some sort. Just a thought. Um, it might not be needed either, but it seems reasonable to play at least as a one-up for your Recross the Paths uh, stacks. I don't know. But thanks for watching. You're beautiful. Keep storming, and have a great day. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.